What's up guys, STF Gaming here. Today we have another video for you. We're going to be opening a whole bunch of mail. Um, I guess we're going to call this one Mail Day. Um, so let's hop right into it. Yeah, we got a lot of mail in today. I thought, hey, I don't have too much uh, ideas for the channel just yet. I just started it back up. So uh, again, I'm not really too much into dueling uh, like I used to be, but um, I do still uh, deal with a lot of cards. I sell them. I I um, buy and trade and stuff like that. So first uh, packages from Troll and Toad. We did get a whole bunch of uh, fossil packs. They were uh, slightly discounted this week. So pretty sweet set fossil. Nice old set. Figured I'd get it out. Let me know if you guys like the lighting. This is a new a new uh, light I got. I, I I could remove it if. If it's not too good, if it's too glary or whatever, but uh, I can even up it a little bit. So let's try that out. All right, next one is also from Troll and Toad. Um, yeah, we got some really sweet stuff on the ch uh, coming up for the channel, so stay tuned for that. Uh, let's check this out next. So I don't have my sleeves with me. I know Troll and Toad likes to package everything into uh, these little team bags, which I don't mind. So, yeah, I guess we'll start with the Yu-Gi-Oh! and we'll go to the Pokemon last. In no particular order. Alright, so yeah, I, I got some old stuff for, uh, some old, old deck stuff. For, like, X-Sabers and some old, uh, LOB stuff, first edition. So, yeah, I wanted to build, like, Synchro Plant and, um, Quick Draw Plants and, uh, X-Saber in Gravekeeper format. I plan on doing a lot of retro deck profiles and maybe some duels. I got a, my buddy Joe hit me up. You guys all know him from the channel if you are an old fan. Um, he wants to do some duels this summer on some dueling network kind of website. All right, so let, let's get started. We'll go uh, this way. Oh my God, look at this dark Alakazam right off the bat. It's a hugely creased dark Alakazam. Let's see if we can get that under lighting. To show, look at that crease. Look at the creases going through that. Yeah. And uh, to be honest, this metal energy is bent too. And the jump bluff. So the first three cards are damaged. I'm pretty sure I ordered, ordered the near mint versions. But um, look at that, look at those creases on the jump bluff. Man, that's what the good lighting is for. Um, but Troll and Toad is really good on return. So I mean, these cards are in worse condition than usual i wonder why um anyway yeah we got some cool first edition cards as you can see here on on this card it's got a lot of speckles in the effect but yeah i'm pretty sure i ordered all their mint cards these are all the old cards so look at this nine tails nine tails is one of my favorite pokemon i don't think the artwork's particularly sweet on this one but i love the way the old exes look then some Delta Species. Just completing sets and uh, getting cards that I think are underpriced, mostly. Love this Pikachu. So I got a whole bunch. <laughs> okay. And I love this Pikachu. So I got a whole bunch. And it, I left the three cards in the top loaders for last because they're probably the most valuable. They seem to uh, put the cards like over 40 bucks or so in top loaders. So, yeah, here we go. Here is an Aquapolis uh, Blossom. Uh, one of the cards I was missing to complete Aquapolis set. First Ed Typhlosion from Neo Genesis. There's two of these in the set, uh, different artworks. They both look cool. And finally, a, a Rocket Sneasel. This is a really rare set, probably because uh, the Gold Stars are sweet. So yeah, let's put those to the side. Uh, next up, let's just do a package from some random person. Don't quite know. Tried to cover all the addresses so no one will get uh, too upset. So, don't know what this is yet. There's a little bit of wear here. Everything I order is near mint, and a little bit of wear here, but uh, probably won't be too upset if it's something uh, low value. Uh, it's a solemn judgment, so this is probably like a 50 or so dollar card, so I might have to contact 
seller about that too. This is one of the problems ordering online, but I don't mind because returns are so easy on eBay and a website like that. So you just click a button and it gives you a free label and stuff. Uh, next up, we got an order from Nancy, eBay seller I remember buying from. I think this is a Shadowless card. Shout out, uh, Nancy. Yep, Shadowless Ninetales. Like I said, big fan of Ninetales. This is a sweet one. Let's check the condition on this. Uh, light, light little whitening right there. Not a big deal on an old card like this. It looks really good condition other than that. I mean, it can't be perfect. This is still near mint in my book. Even a little bit of scratching on the foil, but... Look at this Ninetales. I love the way the yellow Ninetales uh, goes with the blue background with the little ghost flames in it and the hollow pattern sweet. And yeah, it's a sweet card. And we still have the big packages left. Let me pan through those real quick. I'm um, probably going to be opening this one last because it's a huge order. I made some cool stuff. Probably one of my biggest ever. Uh, this is some Canadian package. It has a lot of info on it, so I'm going to take it off for just a second. And we will check what's inside. Alright, this thing is taped out the wazoo, so let's be careful with the knife. And let's see if we can slide it out the side. Okay, so I'm not really a big Japanese fan. I actually just choose not to collect those. Uh, at least for now, but um, one card I do really like is for my Pikachu collection. I collect the full art Japanese Pikachus. They're really cool, and we don't get them here in America. Maybe one day, but... Um, so let's check them out. First off is the uh, Charizard Y Mega Charizard Y Pikachu Cloak, or whatever, something like that. Uh, really cool card. Green background, orange Charizard, little stars. Uh, not the craziest artwork, but still a full art Pikachu. And, of course, the X, the black, shining, whatever you want to call it, Charizard, uh, Mega Charizard X. I like this one a lot more. I think the black and red, you know, kind of suit each other. Uh, this is a cool combo. Uh, I think those came in separate box sets, but I may be confused here. So, next up from Christine. I don't know if I should be doxing people, so... Let's just, let's just not, how about that? But I believe this is a complete set or two. If I were to guess. Yeah, two complete sets. So, set number one is a jungle set. So let's take a look at that. There looks to be some first editions included as well. Maybe it's the full complete. Yeah, it was a near complete first edition set with uh, the Unlimiteds filling it in. So as you can see here, it has the uh, no symbol electrode. That's These don't come first edition, but I mean, it's the closest thing to first edition. So I'll take it definitely. Uh, Mr. Mime is Unlimited. And let's fix this lighting just for this, uh, oh, this one right here. Okay. I don't know how to use lighting. Uh, better than my potato videos from the past. So, yeah, so we got um, No Symbol Nidal Queen, first edition, No Symbol Pincer. So, a lot of No Symbols in the set. Um, conditioning's uh, really good on average. Um, first edition Snorlax, first edition Venomoth, and um, No Symbol, No Symbol. So sweet. And then the rest of the set. Who cares about the rest of the set? So let's look. I'm all about the hollows. Nice to show off a complete set, though. I'm sure some of you are interested in this. So uh, keep forgetting about the backside. They didn't do a hollows with the backside. I think. Maybe they did. I'm trying to get through a whole bunch of packages in a short amount of time. So forgive me for that. Okay, and the other set, what is this set? Uh, was it Fossil? Team Rocket? Something like that. It is Fossil. It has some cool, cool cards in this set. Check out that Dragonite and Gengar. First Gengar. I love me Gengar. 
so Gengar is my favorite Pokemon of all time. Um, this isn't particularly my favorite artwork, but it has a lot of meaning because it is the first Gengar, and yeah, I mean, this, also this Dragonite is super sweet. I love the changing colors, kind of like rainbow background, and it's first edition, so. You got a few first editions. You can see the Aerodactyl, the Articuno, Dragonite, Haunter, Hypno, and conditions are, again, uh, pretty good. There's a little wear on this uh, Articuno, but nothing too crazy. On to the next page, we got a First Ed Raichu, First Ed Moltres, Magneton, and Lapras. So, yeah, that's a pretty good looking condition uh, set. And then we let's just show these off real quick and I'll flip the pages. All right, next up, we have a pretty big collection from my buddy Vic. Shout out to Vic. I doubt he's watching this, but. This might take a while to, uh, all right, and I am glad I had paused that because this took forever to open. There was so much to ran wrap, uh, better safe than sorry, so I can't blame him. Let me fix this a bit so I can show you guys everything. This is going to be a pretty big, uh, collection, so let's just get into this real quick. There are some Japanese cards, some commons. I'm not going to take too much time on the commons. Uh, here we have some hollows from, uh, Deoxys. I love the reverse hollows from these sets. Some Neo Destiny cards. There are hollows in this set. Um, look at these guys. These are my favorites from the Neo Destiny for commons. Even the Dark Lava. Just like all the dark cards. Actually, this set in general has some really cool. Uh, some really cool commons. All right, and then of course we got to take a look at these sweet hollows: the Dawn Fan for Alligator Typhlosion, and the Dark Amphroses all hollow and then some comments that's a cool one and, yep uh what is this one revelation i think this one's neo revelation i like the way the metals look back then they're kind of like shiny in a way and you got a raichu cool looking raichu random rocket hideout some japanese cards hollows all of them are hollows All right, on to what it looks like a uh, partial Holland Phantom set. This Gyarados is in damaged condition, but it is a sweet Gyarados, and this one looks mint. I love these uh, Delta Species uh, Pokemon cards. They are sweet. They got two types, and they're usually not matching the uh, type of that Pokemon in particular. Check out this Mewtwo, a Lightning Mewtwo Reverse Hollow. Looks kind of sweet, kind of like a video game looking Mewtwo, like a, maybe like a stadium version. And here's some Fire Red Leaf Green cards. Really love the pattern on them, especially on this Charizard, Charmander and uh, Bulbasaur. Check out that pattern. You can kind of see uh, the different symbols in them, and they have really cool artwork. You got Ghastly there. Who cares about Clefairy? Probably just got someone to give this video a thumbs down because I said that, but... Sweet Magikarp. Magikarp's the most underrated Pokemon of all, all time. Most powerful Pokemon of all time. Just like, can learn Flail. Alright, we got some Mr. Mimes. EX. Some Dittos. That Lickitung's actually pretty cool. Never really looked at it, but kind of cool. Alright, on to some more. Got some of the Hollow Energies and Hollow Pikachu right there. That's sweet. This is a Delta Species Pikachu. That would have been cool to get a Hollow, but fortunately not. This was a staple back in the day. I used to play when this set was uh, out. Uh, when when did it come out? 2006, so quite a while ago, 12 years. Hollow Horsey. All right, on to the Dragon Frontiers. This is a near complete set. I believe the all the commons are um, included and all the Hollows, but not all the reverse Hollows. So check out this pre-release Dragonair. I'm not sure if that's valuable, but... Um, so yeah, let's take a look. Uh, this isn't in any particular order. I kind of shuffled things around when I was uh, taking them out of the Saran Wrap. So... For some reason I remember this card being good back then, but 
That wasn't good when I played back then. Uh, Totodel, Delta Species, sweet. Gotta love her. Some um, Larvitar. And Bagan, Bagan Strips. The good stuff is coming up. Yep, this is a complete set of the regular. So that means all the EXs are included. And you know what as well. Don't want to spoil it for anyone who's excited for those. But uh, you got a Hollow Dragonair. The grass type, that's kind of cool. And here we go. Let's check out this page. Wow. We got the Gold Star Charizard, the Gold Star Mew. All the Delta Species EXs. This was a great set. Um, the hollow pattern was kind of different for the time. Kind of reminds me of like a secret rare Yu-Gi-Oh card. The way it looks. It's kind of rainbowy on the edges. Um, the hollow isn't too special. It's pretty flat and boring. But still, the Delta Species were so sweet. Um, they had a lot of support for Delta Species back then. Like, And again, really like Ninetales. So check that out. Now there is a flaw in the Charizard, unfortunately. Are you guys ready for this? Looks great, right? Boom. Ouch. That's a shame. Because this Charizard looks flawless aside from that. I wonder how it happened. And it's not sleeved, but who cares? It's damaged anyway. And the Mew is great. The Mew is great condition. Um, and we got the Reverse Hollow Ninetales. Really like those Reverse Hollows. They show the set symbol, so you can't get it mixed up. They got the gold lettering, kind of like Ultra Rares and Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, and we almost missed these Ultra Rares. Tyranitar, Rayquaza, Salamence. Who doesn't love Tyranitar? These guys, they're sweet too, but Tyranitar is where it's at. All right, and he did throw in some bonuses. Um, so he got some sweet booster pack wrappers uh, from the Dragon Frontiers. I don't really collect these, so they'll probably be up on the eBay for auction every once in a while. Um... Threw in some random hollow cards from mostly black and white, looks like. And uh, I think some of these are heart, gold, soul, silver as well. So, really appreciate that. And, um, man, these... I didn't play when the set was out, but um, this was a sweet set, the fire red leaf green. All right, and we are on to the final package. So, uh... All right, guys, we're on to the final package from uh, Cool Stuff. Going to give it a quick cut. We got a lot. hate these bubbles they send things in. This is a return from a buy list, I think. Maybe not. I just sent them some damage cards by accident. Let's take a quick look at that. No, this actually... I am completely wrong on that. Sometimes when I send them in buy lists, um, they return cards that are not up to their standards. So let's start with these cards right off the bat. Um, these are the most expensive, so actually let's save them for last. So Again, I'm building some old format decks. I needed a bear for the uh, Fire Fist deck. Got some uh, Tin Dark Magician Girls, some cards for the Plant deck. Got the starter deck Joey Red Eyes. Some more old school deck cards. These are all good for a lot of decks. This included for the Fire Fist. This is for like everything. Got a sweet blue eyes. Curse of Dragon. Check out this Dark Magician. Sweet. This card's underrated, I think. I prefer the SDY uh, version, but with the Ultra Letters, it just looks fresh. Alright, got some Flame Swordsmans. I got some guys in hopes that there would be misprint um, secret rares, and it looks like we got them. So this is a, a different, uh, I guess, alignment? What's the word I'm looking for? A uh, different pattern. It goes opposite, so it's considered an error. So cool to get those. Got some more pieces of Exodia. Left arm. Left leg. So LOB is a really low value set. It, it's not too big of an investment to get these LOB cards. Um, if at least if you look at Pokemon, obviously Pokemon is probably growing a lot a lot faster than um, Yu-Gi-Oh. But 
it Yu-Gi-Oh is definitely following the path of Pokemon, so I think we can all agree on that. So if you want to learn from your grandfather uh, Pokemon, just look at the prices, look what, where they were a couple of years ago, and you'll see uh, what, what Yu-Gi-Oh is doing. All right, it's my favorite card. Let's see if we got any errors on these. And again, like the Gaia. It uh, doesn't look like we did, but still, this is going to go in my collection. I have over 130 of them. MRD is my favorite set of all time. We've got the Forceful Sentry, Beast of Tallware. Got some first editions in there, so those are sweet. I'll put those to the side. Do we get first edition um, Forceful Sentries? No, we did not. Okay, so some more Tall Wars. Buster Blader, sweet card. Our first egg Goblin Attack Force. Got to check out for the errors. I remember there being an error version of it. Okay, so none of these were the errors. So yeah, uh, for those of you that don't know, there was a error on some Goblin Attack Forces where the Earth symbol was actually a star. I don't know how they did that, but um, I don't know if it came in Unlimited, but I think it was a first edition error. Looks like we got a first head uh, Fiber Jar. Just getting a whole bunch of old cards while they're cheap, you know. These aren't going to stay this low for long. I'm a big fan of collecting Ultra Rare and Up, but for the earlier sets, obviously, I think everything is valuable. These last turns are first edition. Yada yada. First set Dawn. Sweet. Dawn's a Lug. Good in a lot of old school decks, so. First head Fushio Richie. So, yeah, this was a huge order. I had a lot of store credit piled up, um, I believe, and um, decided to buy a lot of their um, old school cards while they're cheap. Another first edition Nightmare Wheel. First head Luster Dragon. I think this set is overrated a bit. Um, don't get me wrong, I love all the old sets, but I can't believe Dark Magician Girl is f like almost 400 something dollars. Like, that is crazy to me for a first ed. So I, I feel like um, she's just inflating every other card in the set because that's just how it goes. When one card goes up, the others will follow. First ed um, XY Dragon Cannon, that's a sweet one. Even though it's from Magician's Force, like I said, I got the first ed Seal. Kaiser Glider, first edition one in there, another two, Guardian Angel Joan, first edition, I got some ultimates coming up I believe guys, so, ooh some first ed, uh, oh these are all first ed Invader of Darknesses, sweet, uh, Thunder Giant, alright so here we go, first ed Double Dude, ultimate rare, Rainbow Neos, Check out that sweet ghost rare. Uh, B Black Rose Dragon. Plague Spreader Zombie. This is randomly in here because it is for an X Saber deck I was building. And then we got the first Ed Black Rose Dragon. Another Coach Soldier Wolf Bark. It looks like we got a few Pokemon cards in here too. So yeah, I mean, look at this pile, guys. We still got a lot more. Plus we got all these. This is my biggest cool stuff order of all time. Aside from one time that had a sale on... Um, a Black Friday sale on Crimson Invasion booster boxes, so I, I splurged on those. Uh, let's put these Pokemon to the side. All right, I got some of these tin cards because I saw that the, the um, error was, do the errors for these were doing pretty well. So, right off the bat, we have an error, no secret pattern. So it's like I remember this back in the day. Some of these tins uh, didn't have the secret pattern; they had like an ultra rare pattern might have been an error because uh, a set called Dark Beginning 1 or 2, I think it was 2, uh, had the reprints of this, and they came out about the same time, I believe. So there might have been a printing mistake along the lines of that. So yeah, oh, another error Blade Knight. So yeah, we got a lot of um, these sweet tin promos. I actually really love the first series of tin promos. This is the third promo. 
ever for the tins. Oh, this is the blue eyes white dragon. Sweet card. All right, now on the command night. This is not the error. So Dark Magician Girls, uh, Promo Wild, Edge, um, Parallel Rare, Non Hollow, Insect Queens. Oh, and here are two of the errors. See the no secret pattern? You can tell. On to a Lord of D, Obnoxious Celtic Guards. We got one error in there. Sweet. So, so far we have these five errors and we got some perfectly ultimate great moths love the pattern on these old video game promos do they even make video games anymore I guess they just do like the dual link stuff don't know one of the most underrated promos of all time CRU like I said I love the pattern and just really like the, the background the green blue background all right, right off the bat with the Swift guys, we got an, a, an error. We got a Winged Dragon of Ra. So yeah, if you guys like this kind of content where we just go through a whole bunch of cards at once, let me know, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below, letting me know um, what you want to see, you know? We got a Dokuro Rider. This is getting uh, pretty valuable from Tournament Pack 2. I used to collect these, but I let go of them too early. I, I definitely made a mistake on that. I got rid of, I had three of every uh, tournament pack card, champion pack card, astral pack, and I offed them. Big mistake. A lot of those cards, like five timed in price, but can't live in the past, right? So these are all like tournament pack stuff, champion pack, astral pack. On to DB1. Got some beast, big uh, shield gardeners. One of Yugi's cards from Battle City, I believe. Sweet card. Got some Arclo Christias. One of them is first edition. Not bad. Pot of Duality. Some Duradarks. Just some random cards, like I said. Some Thunder End Dragons. A whole bunch of those. And it looks like that's the end of the Yu-Gi-Oh! pile. So we got some Shining Ho-Ho's. These are only like a dollar each. Why? I know it comes from the Elite Trainer. I've opened like several hundred of those even, but I still think it's underpriced. I mean, Shining Cards are sweet, and ho, -Ho is sweet, so. Alright, we saved the best for last. All the valuable cards. There are 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, and it looks like most of them are going to be... Actually, it's about an even split, but most of them are Yu-Gi-Oh! So, let us get it started with that. Let's... Just make a bit of room. So yeah, again, give me some suggestions in the comments down below of what you want to see on my channel. Because again, we're not going to be doing duels as much as in the past. So right off the bat, we got a Lugia. Love this Lugia. When I was a kid, I wanted Charizard and I got it. Eventually, it was sweet. And then I saw the Japanese packs of Neo Genesis, and I never ended up getting this Lugia, but I saw it at the store, and I was envious. Okay. That's about when I quit when this car set came out. Um, Erica's Dragonair. Dragonair is such a sweet card. The whole Dragon, uh, Dragon Knight line is sweet. And these are first edition so far. Here comes Team Rocket. Not too valuable, but it is a hollow. Hard to see. And it's first, so. Dark Magneton. These Team Rocket cards are the most undervalued cards, and I really wonder why. I, n I never follow Pokemon as much as I did uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, but I'm, I've been into Pokemon for about three years now, so. Still, just don't know why it is so underpriced. And we got a Dark Blastoise. Love this card. It's got quite a bit of scratching on the hollow, but still a sweet card. On to the final uh, Pokemon card. Is it a first edition? I think it is. But we will have to see. Yes, a first edition 
uh, jungle pidgeot. Check out that hollow pattern. Okay, so that's the Pokemon. I think I spoiled one of the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so let's just get it out of the way. It is an Exodia first edition in beautiful condition. This is going to PSA. This looks flawless. This actually looks like a 10. So check out this Exodia. It is the non-glossy printing. What is that? The first printing or the second? I don't know, but um, I prefer the glossy printing. Gemini Elf. This card was a beat stick back in the day. I remember I traded um, some lava golems for some of these, and then the person asked for a trade back. I think it was like two lava golems for two Gemini Elves, or maybe three lava golems for two Gemini Elves, and they're like, no, I want my elves back. Like a week later, I was butt mad. Beastskull Dragon. I love Joey cards. Did Joey even use this in the show? I don't even remember, but he's still my favorite character. This looks really good, but I don't think it's a 10 because it has a little indent right here. You can probably see it a little, but still that's going to get tossed into the collection box because it is a sweet card. Look at that background. Red and black always goes good together. I got a um, someone working on a logo for my eBay, all my, all my um, websites and it is going to involve those colors, red, black, and maybe white. I just really like red and black together. All right, right leg of the Forbidden One. Let's check this one out. If it's as good as that Exodia piece, then it is going to be flawless. And honestly, man, this looks good. This looks pack fresh. So probably send that one in too. Right arm of the Forbidden One looks fresh, fresh, fresh. So we got three pieces of Exodia so far. I don't think I got the full set. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, this set so far looks as fresh as possible. AFAP. I should rework that. Okay. Mystical Elf. This is the glossy version. Again, my favorite version. Um... I'll probably talk about it in a, another video, but yeah, these are going to be harder to keep uh, pristine, so they'll slowly uh, go down in print because of their weaker quality, but in my opinion, they still look nicer. This has some um, minor indent right here. Maybe someone pressed their finger too close to it or something, but it looks really good. Probably not PSA level. Oh, and we got one more piece. Okay, so we are missing one piece, but look at this. All right, this one has some whitening. I'm probably going to get a microfiber cloth and check it later to see if that's uh, whitening or just a little speck of dust. Again, this looks really good. There is like a, looks like maybe a print line running down it, but I, if that didn't have that white speck, I would definitely send it in. So check that out, guys. Uh, let, who's going to be our, uh, our left arm? Erica's Dragonair? All right, Erica's Dragonair is our left arm. All right, guys, so that's the video. We got the robotic Exodia with the Dragonair arm. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.